hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to copy the artifact file that we just generated in the previous video over to our EC2 instance. So first thing first I would like to create a folder for it. Now we should have the comment somewhere here, yeah right there. And then I want to create an artifact folder just in case we're not placing things in a root directory a root user directory and then cd artifact i want to know where i am exactly slash home slash ec2 user slash artifact okay that's perfect let's go back we now are in the position of actually adding the new step to copy this thing over just to save a little bit of typing i already had it on my clipboard so let's talk about it so this is the command for it i think it's quite self-explanatory what's going on here we're using the credentials and we're using an SSH user private key. Credentials ID is AWS EC2. This is what we called our credentials in Jenkins, if you remember. And we have a so-called key file variable. It's like what we want to call our key file when we're referencing it inside of any command. And this is the way how you reference your key file. The SCP command actually is uh, is the one that copies the file and then we have oops i have made a mistake laravel test not laravel build so this is the actual project folder where there is an artifact file we know for a fact from the previous video that we can in fact generate this artifact file so once we have this file we can copy this file onto the directory uh, we have just generated basically the artifact file on our server. Let's save the file and run the pipeline. SCP step edit. Let's build now. As you can see, we have generated a new version of our zip file. Bunch of debug messages from Jenkins. What we're interested in is this line transferred and received. There you go. So the file should be there. Let's take a look. Okay, cd artifact, and indeed our artifact.zip file is on the server. In the next video, we're going to install our web server on this EC2 instance. So don't forget, there's no Apache, there's no PHP, there's literally nothing to serve our application just yet. We need to install a few packages, and also we want to deflate this file on in the right folder. It has everything in theory to run as a Laravel application. I'll see you in the next video.